Hello, callers. Welcome back to Viva Bassa. Welcome to another interesting episode where we are going to be discussing on some interesting updates. We start with Ansu Fati as the Bassa forwards camp are still denying PSG interest, but the player could leave amid Xavi's concerns. We are going to be discussing on that as we progress. Secondly, talking about the Neymar saga, as Neymar have reportedly received a huge offer from a Saudi Arabian club, but the player prefers a Barcelona move. We are also going to be looking at that. So guys, as we get right into it in much detail, please do ensure to subscribe to the channel. If you haven't, turn on the post bell notification to always stay notified whenever I post a new video. Consider liking the video and please watch it right up to the very end. On Sunday, reports emerged claiming that apart from wanting to sign Usman Dembele, PSG had also set a sight on another Barca forward in the form of Ansu Fati. Ansu had an indifferent season last time out, but new PSG manager Luis Enrique remains a big admirer of the Spaniard and wants to take him to the French capital this summer. However, overnight, Gerard Romero came up with an update on the situation, stating that the interest from the Ligue 1 champions is not real or concrete at this point in time. While the report of interest from Paris Saint-Germain might not be entirely accurate or true, Gerard Romero went on to add that the possibility of an exit for Fati is very, very real. The 20-year-old had been linked with a departure from for most part of the summer, but those speculations had gone so quiet in recent weeks. As such, it appeared that the Barca management were ready to keep him at the club, especially with Dembele's imminent exits. However, as per Romero, why Fatih has always wanted to stay at Barcelona, his stance could be changing now as he has some concerns about manager Xavi Hernandez and the playing time that he might receive if he stays next season. The La Masia granted wishes to play regularly and could pack his bags if he doesn't get enough game time in the opening parts of this season, according to the journalists. Amidst all this, Fabrizio Romano is now reporting that several interested clubs are starting to move behind the scenes to assess the possibility of signing Ansu Fati before the transfer window comes to a close. The Italian journalist though insists that Fati still wishes to stay at Barcelona but adds that his situation is one to keep an eye out on over the coming weeks. With rumors of a return for Neymar Jr. picking up steam, it remains to be seen how things unfold for the 20-year-old Ansu Fati who had showcased impressive form during pre-season. Of course, Ansu Fati's future, uh, I've, I've come back to the limelight, as the player's future is still not certain. Um, it it, it seems as though the player could have stayed some weeks back. Um, even though when the summer started, there were a lot of rumors about Fati potentially being sold alongside Ferran Torres, who were, you know, who were flopped last, last season. And of course, Ansu Fati was a player that Barca were more convinced with towards the end of last season as compared to Ferran Torres. And it now comes as a shock that Ansu Fati's move or his departure from Barca still looks very real. It looks a possibility as the player is unsure as to whether he will continue playing a lot of game time or not. We quite remember last season, Xavi played Ansu Fati, gave him very few minutes, but the player was not happy about that. You know, he was not happy about that. His, fatty was, his father, Bode Fati, was also disappointed and even blasted Javi and Barcelona as a whole. And now reporters are saying that Ansu Fati will likely leave Barcelona if Javi continues to treat him the way he did last season. He has also received a, a, an astronomical offer from Saudi Arabia, according to a latest report, but it seems as though Ansu Fati is not entirely convinced. He does not want to go to Saudi Arabia at this stage of his career. Ansu Fati is still 20 years of age, and I think going to Saudi Arabia will just further destroy his career. Because for me, Ansu Fati have not even started his career. Still 20, he's still young. He's still young, very young. 
and going out to look for money at this stage where you are supposed to be you are supposed to be hungry for a good project of a club to succeed to win trophies you know i think fatty thought of it well that going to saudi arabia will not be a good idea so as it stands right now the player is still very very um con he's still very doubtful as to whether he will stay or not of course he really wants to see if xavi will give him that game time because he will definitely leave the club according to this new report psg have also been showing interest in the player luis enrique who is a new coach of psg knows Ansu Fati very well during his time as the Sp spain national team head coach he likes Fati. he really wants Fati to join psg as there were a lot of rumors linking PSG, um, Anzo Fati to PSG in you know, this past week. Um, it remains to be seen what the future holds for Anzo Fati. But if you ask me personally, I wish Anzo Fati is given another chance. I think Javi should just let him to be because I don't see why all these rumors are keep, they keep popping up. Because Anzo Fati is a great player. Last season, it was just an off-season for me. I think he was just having an off-season, not all the time. He's not, he's not the Messi's or what, whoever who, who always perform every year. I think Fatih will settle in this year well compared to last year. Then moving on to the final story of discussion. PSG are experiencing an exodus this summer. With everything suggesting that Neymar could be the next star player to depart the club. In recent days, the Brazilian superstar has been closely linked with a return to Camino especially with Barca looking for a replacement for PSG-bound Usman Dembele. However, it appears Neymar has other offers on the table as well, including ones from Saudi Arabia. According to Food Mercato, Neymar has received a proposal from Saudi Arabia as he looks to take the next step in his career. The report mentions the offer is really, really huge, which suggests that the oil-rich country is once again prepared to break the bank in order to bring another world-class footballer to the Middle East. During the course of the summer transfer window so far, Saudi clubs have already lowered the likes of Karim Benzema, N'Golo Kante, Ruben Neves and Malcolm, among others. Neymar though could become the biggest acquisition for Saudi Arabian football if the Brazilian does indeed end up accepting that offer. Despite receiving lucrative offers from the Middle East, it appears Neymar has his heart set on a return to Barcelona, according to Food Mercato. This comes in the midst of reports suggesting that Barca coach Xavi Hernandez is not too keen on the idea of bringing Neymar back. However, the deal for Bernardo Silva stalling, coupled with Xavi's lack of trust in Joao Felix, the Barca coach could end up fancying the Neymar option. That said, PSG's new boss Luis Enrique could be a potential obstacle for Barca, as a Spanish tactician wants Neymar to stay at PSG. So guys, with that, we have come to an end of this episode. Thanks a lot for watching. Until next time, bye-bye.